Hey everyone, so today we're going to uh, learn a new activity um, that we're going to use a lot this year. It's called Numbers Mania. Um, with Numbers Mania, you basically make an infographic about um, a, a piece of information. So to start, we're going to do something that you all know a lot about, which is yourself. Um, and ultimately, you're going to create a slide that looks something like this student's right here from last year. Um, if you want to look at more student examples, um, there's a link down here to click um, to, to see more student examples if you need to get ideas. Um, so basically, the first thing you want to think about is different number-related facts about you, and you only need five. So just five facts. Don't think too hard about it. Um, it could be important dates or years, your age, something related to your pets, family, height, etc. Sports facts, lucky number, languages you speak, anything you can think of that's number-related, a number-related fact. Um, so, for example, this if we go back to this example with this student, um, they have, um, you know, two is uh, the age of her sister. Her favorite event in swimming is the 400 uh, meter. Her cat is four years old. She's lived in the U.S. for three years and seven months, so she has some numbers there. And then um, her time in swimming is one minute and 14 seconds, so which is really fast. So those are important numbers in her life. Um, and you could come up with lots of other ideas for you too, your grade, uh, your height, whatever. Um, and, and you're going to use this template to put them on. And so you're going to do three things uh, on each of these five facts, okay? First thing is if you double click on where you see the, the hashtag or the number, you can change that to whatever number you're, you're looking for, okay? And you can change the color if you want to. Um, to change the icon, you wanna get rid of this space, okay? And you can go to, um, actually I'll show you, you're gonna go to add-ons, and then you're gonna get add-ons. And then search for something called flat icon, one word. And it's going to give you icons for docs and slides. You want to click on that. And then for you, it will say install. You want to do that. You want to install it. Um, and just hit OK, select your Google account, all that, OK? Once it's installed, all you have to do is go to um, add-ons. And then you'll see something that says icons for slides and docs. docs and you can hit start. And you can search for something. So seven is um, the amount, uh, well, seven isn't a good number for me. Let me think, can I think of anything related to seven? Uh, oh, I've been teaching for almost seven, seven years, right? Total, when you think about it. So um, I'm going to look for something related to teaching. And I like... Let's just pick any one. I like that one. Okay. So I'm going to hit insert. All right. Now it's over here. You can see it. Um, I'm going to put it right next to my number. So seven. I have the number seven. I have the picture. And then for my caption, I'm going to, what does that mean? It means years I have been teaching. Okay. So I've been teaching at the middle school six, but I've actually um, been teacher for seven years so that's what I put there so that you're gonna make kind of little facts about you just like that right and remember refer back to the other examples um, if you want to see more examples of how that looks okay um, now the only other thing if that doesn't work the add-on for um, flat icon that's okay um, let me see if I can I have some links over here so you can go to flat icon the website and you can open that up that way and you can search for um, your icons just like that and um, this way you can just um, click on them and actually the easiest way to do it might be when you see those three dots and then just see no no, no that's not the easiest way sorry um, you want to click on it and then you can right click or click down with two fingers on the Chrome but copy image then go back to your slide and then paste, just like that. And then you can resize it uh, to make sure it fits in the space. So if I liked that one better, I could do that. So those are two ways you can do it. I like flat icon. Another one is noun project, but I think flat icon's a little bit easier. Um, uh, one last thing in the middle, it says delete this 
box and write your name. So I could write my name with word art. I'm going to go to insert word art, Mr. Daniels. I'm going to resize that like that maybe. All right, I'm going to change the font maybe to red color. I'm going to use that. Um, and I'm going to insert a picture. So to insert a picture of me, I go to insert, image, and then camera. No camera selected, but for you it should work. And then you just take a picture like that, and then you'll hit the insert button. Um, and if not, you can just you can keep your 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 name there without your picture. But if you want to add your picture, great. Okay. Um, last but not least, um, if you're at home, please present your uh, infographic on Flipgrid. So there'll be a link here that you just click uh, click, and you can screencast um, your screen. All right. All right. I look forward to seeing your infographics. Bye.